thunderous applause. Maybe more of like a, a map control lineup here, and they seem content to just trade farm the secret. Yeah, they probably feel like their strongest timings are going to come a bit later. This blink TA is a very useful line to have because that's going to find them an easy kill. Elsewhere, action breaking out as the boat gets deployed, but it's Fada now on the chase with Pilot Day there for assistance. They're looking for the third kill of this fight. Fada blinks in, charges forward, MSS there as well, and NP. River, so they actually got eyes on Fear Breaker. But gamers. Their move forward, they'd love to win a team fight before the next Roshan. XY's gonna reveal it. He could be in trouble here if the Axis come out. The BKB is committed. Where's the follow up? They started off with the Overgrowth, but they don't have that boat coming through over the top. It finally connects. It's a beauty as well. Drills the IO, brings him down. Maybe they get more too. Gabby's chasing. He wants XY, but he bashed him down. He needs the fight, he needs the remnant. He's got it. He slays him and now turns to Black. Black can't do with the living armor. He's gotta turn his attention back to the Dark Seer instead. He'll finally chew through it. Armel's a bit out of firepower. My soul is coming. Oh, oh, oh. But he's too late. It's four. It's going to be five, two. Faceless just having a bit more punching power come out heavily on top. Troll There's some good vision coming out across the map. They're still maybe going to get caught anyway. Three press will come through. Sunray Golem dropped down. They need the overgrowth. They need the living armor as well. RTZ is pretty tanky. There's no shot to come out. RTZ about to fall, gonna get dropped, Burning coming in, doing some work, Dive's gonna be next, getting bashed up, a double kill coming out from him. Now Universe trying to get away, Supernova coming through with Jumail, or getting up at least OP. He's already used the Yule Scepter, but two down, it's Jumail at below half HP, and it's time to get out for the team. Chris gonna get jumped on, this third crush is there, and all of a sudden, turning even four for EG. Still the chase from OP, no real help for Fada trying to make it back to the safety of the shrine, and he will do so. The crush is there, but now the fight's gonna turn around the other way. Storm in danger. He's overextended. Bubblecott 2 and NP with the big punish burning. Could be the third. No! The infest bomb joke! What a play by B God still though. I don't know if he bash, makes it out of this bash. one. One good bash from Envy will do him in. Burning will fall, and NP. About 30 minutes to go. They are going to find Envy. Envy, though, gets to work. He runs in. He would love for the Sages to expire in the midst of the fight. That would be maximal value. Burning's going to engage and cooperate. 20 seconds and counting. How, how much do they commit to killing off this troll? Apparently, perhaps a bit too much. Oh, Envy! Laid in with the Bashers completely demolishing the little dog. Slave Stealer down. He loses the Aegis at the worst possible time for IG right before it's about to expire. Kavoka will also fall. Four down. Timber Spirit. an opening here that troll warlord caught out of position gets pulled back in into the waiting arms of a disruptor ultimate but do they have the firepower to secure, secure the skill he's quite tanky and he will eventually go down now the three hero forgot the triple remnant special comes in they bring them down to about half hp mss from behind they should get all three out of this easy peasy lemon squeezy and p Curry still has to make the full trip back out, so they have that opportunity while he doesn't have the blade melt. Taka into the rear, Boris strike, needs to get the epicenter off. It's the slow of the damage, but 
the rocket, Fatal Boss hits Hughes with the spirit jump! It is an absolute disaster in the mid lane! Run away, Nubi, as fast as you can, but there may be no port. Needs assassin. starts to amp up here as you look at NP until Luna gets some item they are very much magic damage heavy and NP first man caught out Sunstrike's there good teamwork attempted but Jabs is going to cut him off at the feet with the hook from behind so they have the detection to bring Black down they're laying in with the imps he's still got quite a bit of HP and AUI may be in a bit too deep here the hook somehow missing that bat rider Jabs, though, still landing the dismember. Black's like, where's my team? Where's my help? He gets off the deafening blast, and suddenly AUI's in too far. The coup stacking up. They've got the Maledict Fada. We'll get the three hero stun. Actually, make it four, I think. Well, nuts either way. Busy dealing with the Roshan. Okay, they still done? trace, though. They're not done yet. They reel him back in, and now AUI looks completely finished. Venison. Dark Sia. aggressively onto Arteezy, making sure he can't blink in. And he's gonna jump on top of him again. There's the Shrine, forced out. Orca comes through, OP, just harassing him. Now the hook shot, but he can jump away, and again, still has that Aegis. There's that buyback spell, trying to fight the Bashes up. There's the Overgrowth, trying to turn this around. Now Strength top to their man fighting. Burning versus Arteezy, not enough though. Ball Lightning, now they find that pulse. Supernova's gonna force the rest of IG back, and they might find OP's Aegis here. But there's the vacuum wall, so the recrush combination beautifully from IG to follow up. The game is lagging, the golem has been dropped, the Sonic Wave doing little to nothing. Somehow EG have only lost one, they're about to lose Universe, Burning chucking him down, gets the kill, another crush onto RTZ. He's getting lower and lower and he will drop as well. He does have buyback and he's forced to use it. Maybe trying to go after RTZ, they're going to look for this Bruce Devil play here with the Tinker. Dual breath, again, he's pretty speedy, I don't think he's speedy enough to survive this. Maybe they're just backing up, they're thinking about it. RTZ is going to get some help, they know. Ball Eddie coming, OP's about to get caught. Everybody rotating up from pretty much both sides. Great Torrid coming up, vacuum wall combination from Universe to follow up. They pop the pipe, the Voke is going to fall along with XXS. No ship flying through, he's done so, a double kill for Zai. Bristle back! First, aggressive move of the game. Smoking around, wrapping for Tile I Die and Envy. Probably gonna focus on that pesky little IO. Zapsor finds the opening, pops the battery assault, and the losing beam helps secure the mid position with the cogs there. Pi's able to tether out, should be okay. Envy very tanky, he's gonna burn low, but won't quite be finished off. In fact, Envy turns it around, finds the first blood of the game. He almost gets MP2. He's gonna get angry at Puppy with the tether coming in from Pi. Puppy's former teammates want a bit of vengeance. Will Puppy get by? It's close, but it appears. Has a sentry. No, they're flanking, though. They're yeah. flanking in the top lane. As and cut him off. And they are going to find the new initiation here. The Lycan's left free to roam, though, and he's going to get on the pilot die. They quickly delete him. That's the physical damage that Secret needs to get back in this game. They chase on the MSS now. He's 
to magnetize. They ignore Envy. They know the bristle's too tanky to do it. Oh, right now, but is. MP almost down. He will fall in the trees. Laguna and a little extra follow gets the kill. And now on the kill, Capitan, Puppy. Not much use at this point. The crystal made it. TP's like are coming. Taka. Well, he's got hooked it off cooldown in two seconds time and managed to isolate Zai. They trap him inside the storm. A quick four star hook shot out. Parker does manage to hold him. A quick glimpse. Nope, that's not going to work. Only imprisonment was used. The funny thing is, the glimpse does still work with that. KP holding the ravage. Four heroes pretty close together. Crit going to get gushed up. RTZ comes in. Samael could buy Universe. The only person not hit by that ravage, but he just jumps in. There goes your spirit jump. But SC has to take that Ember Spirit out. They want to keep fighting. The courier gets sniped off in the meantime. Now it's the Radiant one. Back to life from the Aegis Immortal. Quick TP out. Is there a stun? Is there anything? Yes, there is. That's the Frostbite. Available. Crystal Maiden. Very fast. The Seed Seeker can get in and try to test this. This is going to be close. Roach is already low as it is. Faith is going to be the first. They've got the got the sense for the Vendetta about to come through. Will they get Roach? They will. And they'll grab the Agent Back of Fire. Drop down. There's the Ravage coming in. They'll drop Kezu. The Astral is there. They've got it. They'll pop it. They hit it onto three. Mogi is going to get Telkin. He's the App Store solo. Sandy's comes out. Mid one, though, is going to fall. It's a double kill for the Sniper. And now, terribly in trouble. Omni slash through. Needed a couple more auto attacks. He does have Sunder. He will get it off. But will it keep him alive? They're going to man fight. There's going to be the Assassinate coming through. And that will be enough. It's an ultra kill. They're going to try and initiate in. Hook shot up. The Yule Scepter. Make sure when he comes down, it's inside the storm and some male will fall. 55 seconds onto the sideline. Now Artiz, he wants to make his play. Crit letting it go. They're locked inside the Roman Cogs. The ship, Torrent, and Wall. Nowhere to run. Nubi being crippled on the top lane. Two heroes down. Right now, he's fine. He's got a lot of money up his sleeve as well, so that next, if he wants to go tanky item, if he wants to increase that armor of his, he's able to do so. Mule set from Kaka, pulling up Artizi, locking inside the cogs. He do have that Kunker boat available, but on the back lines is where Moogie is initiating. And the Spirit that jumps down, the Ravage from KP! Space to be created, the ship has actually slowed down a lot of the damage, allowing Artizi to find up against SC. He throws the ulti out, trying to kill off Universe, who just basically runs the circle. The Storm is down, RTZ locked down, finally SC will fall, the torrent can torrent control him. KP wants more, RTZ, the tank, the man who survived for so long will finally die. Wow, that was amazing play by the Urza coming in from the right side. And crit, 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 oh. solar! Clockwork! or have a bad gank or two. That can be pretty bad for him. In theory, he can also help head the Emperor up by ganking his lane, and the sure, two of sure. them together are a pretty fierce one in the duo. Let's see how it develops. You know, a lot of pressure, but I I mean, look, this mid lane, 23 and 13 on the Quap, the 6 and 0 on the Ember, and Pavoka doesn't even need to be there anymore. The Quap can easily just continue to handle how to 1v1. He actually needs to go home. Coming back now, so they need to make up for it elsewhere, and they're trying for it on Bernie, but these dire creeps are apparently turncoats. They seem to be playing more for the Radiant side, if anything. Bemesses says, I don't need their support. Finds the kill anyway. First kill for him, and much... ...make up that if they can secure this road. Oh, Kezu. He knows a pick here when they have the buyback advantage could just flat out win the game. And he's just looking, though, rushing towards the pit. They think that road is being taken, but... That's yet his puppy. Starts it off. Of course it's on Envy. Now the ice path, the follow-up there, but MP will get last of first trouble. The BKB is driven from bottom. They're gonna jump that Luna. Do everything they can to bring her down. The Lotus Corp is there. Gapsor as well with the save. The Cogs proving too much. And now the Deputy Blast. Mid one, raining in the damage. Left uncontested in this fight so far. They're not hitting the invoker. He's gonna deal that Kanka. Take it out of the picture. Pie off to the left. It's also that old school way of making sure your off lane is able to give the regeneration to the anti mate and push in, potentially take Roshan a little bit earlier oh, than yeah. normal. I like that. But still from, they don't want to fight 4 on 5 in the mid game, which is going to be typical with AM lineup. As well, you mentioned, try and out. Anna doesn't have mana. He can't get out. He's got four one shots available. He'll be burned down heavily. The mana boy from Black. It spills out to fly and fly with the battery salt. Dire knows he's tapping, he had some vision. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, they know. The flare came out. They know now. Hookshot should be back up and ready to go. It is the Battle Trance Zone. They might just get in here along with these. Hookshot coming in. Can Universe do it? It's already low, but not low enough. They need to stuff from Stormhammer. OP grabs the Aegis. There's the Stormhammer. They need more. Sonic Wave coming through. Already blowing up the Aegis. And they get the kill into Burning as well. He's got 5 Is he going to use it? Sonic coming in. He doesn't have Overgrowth, but he does get the Blasphemy!